long time ago, in 1783, in the country of France, the first balloon was invented. The passengers were a sheep, a duck, and a rooster. <laughs> so fast forward two centuries, and an adventurer named Steve Fawcett sailed a hot air balloon all the way around the world. It was a 60-foot balloon, and he did it in 15 days. So we've come a long ways in 233 years of balloon making. Today at Honest, we're going to share a project with you where you can make your very own hot air balloon. So welcome to the live broadcast. We're excited to have you join us. My name is Ben. I work on the operations team here at Honest. And I'm joined with two very special guests. I have my kids with me. Hi, my name is Benjamin. And hi, my name is Aubrey. So Benjamin is 10, Aubrey is 9, and we are super excited to start this project with you. As you know, over the last month, Honest is sharing costumes that you can make with your kiddos with the, the most favorite of all kids' toys, the cardboard box. So last week, Sarah and her daughter showed us how to make a really cool television set. And do you guys remember what they made? Yeah, popcorn concessions. Uh, so we will show you this hot air balloon today. Um, it's got a few more steps than what we've seen in the last couple episodes that we've taped here at Honest, but it's well worth it. Uh, super fun project, and we're pretty excited about it. So Honest bundles ship in this box. This is really the starting point for us, um, and we will be using this as the basket for the balloon today. Now. Aside from the box, we also have some other supplies that we use here for this project. And Aubrey would like to walk you guys through what that looks like. What supplies do we have? OK, so you will be needing four paper bags. And you will be needing some twine. You will be needing your balloon. And you will also be needing some water packaging and your balloon bag. Awesome. And that balloon is a three-foot balloon. So it's going to be pretty big when we blow it up. And then, Benjamin, will you walk us through what we have for tools? Yeah. We have a box cutter. Um, a, what's it called again? Hole puncher. Hole puncher, yeah. We have scissors and some sharpies. And let's not do some helium. Yes, so we have helium here today. Uh, this is part of our show. We're going to blow up the balloon for you. What I would recommend at home is you just buy a three-foot Mylar balloon because that'll last a little bit longer than the one we have here today. So you guys ready? Mm -hmm. Ready yeah. to start? Okay. Awesome. Now, if you have ever received a bundle from Honest and you had diapers in your bundle, this is the box you would get. Thousands of these ship every day. We're going to start using this box in order to ask it for the balloon. So what's the first step? What are we going to do with this box, Aubrey? Um, we're going to... Take some Sharpies, and we're going to write um, a square on the bottom of the box, and then we're going to cut it out. Perfect. OK, so we're going to start on the bottom of the Honest Box. And do you want to make the mark? Yeah. So just do a rectangle. Or... A, a rectangle, yep. So the rectangle we're cutting out needs to be big enough to fit your kiddo through. This is the bottom of the basket that she's drawing. Very nice. Okay. You draw two more lines, and we'll show them what, what we came up with here. So the reason that we're cutting out a smaller section of the bottom is just for the box stability. These boxes are made of 100% recycled content. And then you can see they're printed on the outside. They're also printed on the inside as well, which means they're, they're a little bit lighter than your typical box that you would get. So we want to make sure that we leave a little bit of room here for some structural stability. Now, I will cut this out with the knife. And watch out, kiddo. <laughs> Always try to cut away from it when you're cutting with this knife. This is super sharp. And is that big enough? Does that follow yeah, your lines? Good. good? I kind of Cool. 
So here's the first part of the box. And we have some flaps, so we're going to cut out now. This will be relatively easy. I think we'll make, you want to make a little trash pile there? No, we'll recycle those. Perfect. All right, you want to tip that up and show everybody what we have? So there's the bottom of the basket. Now what's the next step? You guys remember? To cut these off. Yeah, so we're going to just cut the flaps off on the top. I'll do this one. <laughs> I totally believe you can use you can do this, but it's a good idea for an adult to do all the heavy cutting. Oh no, I'll be done. I think we're done with the knife right after this step, though, right? There you go. <clears throat> so besides the products that come in the box, we also have void fill to keep our products safe. That's what this is here, right Aubrey? Yeah. <clears throat> so we'll try, we're going to use the void fill and we're going to eventually fill up some bags of sand with that void fill. So you use the products then we'll turn the box into a costume and basically use everything in the box for this one. All right. We're good? You guys happy with that? Yep. Like that? Time to move on to the next step? Uh, yeah. Cool. So the next step is we're going to take our white paper bags and we're going to just write sand on them along the bottom. Good job. And where these will go eventually, these will hang on all four corners of our hot air balloon. So this is the ballast from the hot air balloon. Nice job. Cool. One more. If you do one more, I will stuff this bag. And we're just adding the, the typical void fill that comes with our honest products to keep your products safe. It is all recycled content, which is good, and then you can recycle this as well. But today, it is taking the place of sand in here. So you want to open your bags up. And this is what initially we will do and we will kind of crinkle the top, and we're going to tie some bows around this. So these are the sandbags. You guys want to stuff them? Open them and stuff them. Here we go. Yep, you fold them once like that. How many? Just one. Just one. All we want is enough so that we kind of looks like something's in here, something like sand. Cool? All right, so if you guys will twist the top a little bit, what I'm going to do is use a piece of twine. So we have four pieces of twine cut out. We're just going to put the twine around the sandbag and tie a bow on it. Let's move this over here temporarily. That's fine. Looks good. I like it. So we're going to tie a bow. You want to do one, Benjamin? Perfect. So here's our ballast. Nice job. I'll do this one. How about that? Shall I do this one? Now don't tie it because what we will do in a later step is we will attach these back to the box by running some string between this bow and the actual box itself. So that's perfect. That's really good. I like it. You guys happy with this? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's move this to the side. And we'll put our sand over here. And it's about to get fun, right? What, what's the next step after this? Um, oh, to heat up our balloon. No, not heat up. Um, blow, blow it up. up. Yeah, I think it's time to blow up a balloon, Can I right? Put it on? Can I put it? Sure. Just um, let me slide Benjamin down just a little bit while you get on there, and you actually don't have to pull it apart; it'll slip right on there just fine. 
So this is a 36 inch balloon. You could buy it at any craft store. And do you want to blow this up? Do you want me to blow this up? Come on over here. Okay. It's already on. All we have to do is push down on this right here. All right. You guys want to try? Sure. Both of you can. Oh, wait, there's a hole. There's holes. Oh, no. Oh, no. We have a couple minor holes in the balloon, but that's okay. Do we have some tape? We'll blow it up. We'll see, we'll see what happens with this. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Woo! Well, that was cool. <laughs> So don't try that at home, but fortunately, here at Honest, we always have a backup. So we have this perfectly blown up balloon from earlier today. And what we're going to do, Benjamin, if you'll hold the balloon, we will put the balloon net on top of this. That was pretty cool, right? You didn't expect that to happen, did you? <laughs> All right, so. Will you, Aubrey, will you help with this step? Will you hold the balloon net? Yes. All right, now, Benjamin, if you'll pull that down, we're going to net this balloon. Ready? Pull it down a little bit lower. Yep. Toss it over. Whoop, let's try it one more time. Toss it over. Perfect. How's it looking? You still, do you still have it, Benjamin? Yep. All right. I think we're good. Do, can I tie it into like a knot? Or whatever I tie it into? No, what we'll do now, the next step is we're going to just make some really quick holes in our box. So you need four holes, one on each corner with the hole punch. Are we going to be okay with that? I'm going to put the holes in. Now the tricky part. Let's see. Let's try this. Benjamin, if you will stand here. Whoop. Whoa. Bring it back down. We, got to we have to harness this balloon again. Hold that down a little bit lower. Perfect. Okay, and we're going to get into the tricky part here. Aubrey, you won't have to do that yet, if you will. Aubrey, I'm going to pull. Whoa! Third time's the charm. <laughs> so what we'll do, we will rope it one more time, capture this balloon, and then I'm going to make, I'm going to have Benjamin ensure that he holds that balloon down. No, 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 don't break it. One more. Pull it down all the way, Benjamin. As low as you can. Four times a charm. <laughs> That's Everybody good. Everybody that too. Perfect. Okay, so we have the balloon net has four four places where the strings come together. And now we're going to attach this to the box. So this is where I need some steady hands. Aubrey, sure. can you hold that steady? Yeah. Benjamin, can you hold pressure on that balloon so it doesn't rise? Just with your string. If you hold some pressure on it. Perfect. Hold it as still as you can. Don't move. You got it? OK, now it's up to dad to do this super quick. So what I'll do is I just fold those three strings together. And I'm going to tie them. I'll tie them loosely for now just to make sure that we get this on before we lose the balloon again. You guys are doing awesome. Is this quicker than you thought or is this slower than you thought? Slower. Slower? Well, we promised 15 minutes. I think we're doing okay. There's that one. Okay. We can start to... Benjamin, you hold on to it for now. Aubrey, we're good. We're going to thread these last two. 
And finally, this will look a little bit more like a hot Can air balloon. Sure. What Aubrey is referring to is on these extra large bundle boxes, they have handles on them. So it's perfect, and we need the handle for this particular caution. Normally, a box this size holds your diaper bundles. I've got this, Benjamin. We're good. It holds six diapers, four wipes, probably plus an essentials trial as well. So this is for dual trials. That is if you have a subscription to both uh, diaper and essentials. They'll ship together just to save, save resources and money. Good? What do you think? I think this looks pretty good. Oh, that's fine. We'll be good. You can't even see it. So, final step. You guys ready for final step? Yep. What we'll do is, oh, is I'll cut step? this twine off. We have some success. It's looking perfect. Now we're going to take gonna this. Do a photo shoot at the end? You want to do a photo shoot? <laughs> of course, we'll do a photo shoot at the end. All right, so can you guys take the twine and place it through the. I'll do this one if you'll oh, grab one. the others. So, what we're doing here is we're just taking the twine, four strands of twine that will be used eventually to tie these to the box, and we're going to tie it to our loop. So we're just pushing it through like this. You guys can you know what I'm talking about here. Um, wait, so we take this like a totally different string. Yeah, a totally different string. And then we'll tie this directly to the same holes. Can I loop it through? Yep, if you loop it through, Daddy will push this on, okay? Okay. Okay. Benjamin, can you do the last sandbag over there? Yep. Oh, it's looking good. Now, who's going to try this on when we're done? Me. You? Okay. Yeah, but I'm not wearing a fire. We are almost there. So two out of the four bags are on and good. Thank you very much. Do you want to tie this one on? Yeah. Let me thread it and you tie it a nice bow. Sound good? Yep. Cool. Wait, again tie it in the bow? Yep, another bow. Oh. Or just a knot. Okay. You got this next one, Benjamin? You want to try and attach this other one? Here you go, Aubrey. Uh, no. You got that? Uh, the other one? Here's this one, the last of ours. Can I double knot it? I should... You can double knot that one, sure. Better to be safe than sorry here with our Halloween costume. This is going to get a lot of use. Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> Until it rips. Yeah. Yeah, so one of the things when you are wearing this costume, we, we took a few photos with one earlier outside. You really have to watch out for the trees when you are walking down the street with this. All right. Voila. Are you guys happy? Nice job. Nice job. Very cool. So let's see it in action. We can let Aubrey try this on. Uh, why don't you do it right here? I think this will be good. Perfect. We'll help her on it. Whoop. <laughs> All right, so we have those handles. There you go. Smile for the camera. <laughs> I like it. Very cool. Very cool. So thank you all for joining us for this project. We've had a lot of fun doing it. Hopefully you enjoyed watching it. Um, I believe it only took about 15 minutes, and it's really, really cool. Uh, so thanks for getting crafty with us or allowing us into your home and get crafty with you. Next week... We have one more of these, so number four out of our series. And next week, do you guys remember what they're making next week? Yeah. Did you popcorn. hear? Wait, no. Popcorn, yeah. Oh, yeah popcorn. So they will make a popcorn costume out of some of the very same supplies we use today. So thank you guys very much. You want to say hi to Mommy uh, and Jack? Hi, Mom. Wave to them. Bye, guys. Thank you all. <laughs>